Hello everyone, this is Argon Matrix, welcoming you to episode 37 of Super Mario RPG. Last time we made it a little bit, or actually pretty much all the way through Balloon Temple. I don't know why I said a little bit, we were pretty much at the end here. And now I guess we'll finish it off, here we go. There's a pipe, this wasn't here before. Intriguing. And oh my god, it's Balloon. Oh, really, what do you expect? This is Balloon Temple. Alright, so for this fight that we're about to undertake, I recommend you switch out one of your party members here. I'm going to choose Toadstool for Mallow. And if you can't already tell, because I'm trying to keep up with this, I'm doing post-commentary right now, because the freaking commentary screwed up. And, oh, we're fighting Balloon now? I'm sorry. I just thought I should let you know that. Uh, I really hate post-commentary. I do. Like, I've never done it before, and doing it now, I never want to do it again. Okay, so this is Bloom. Um, if memory serves, he has 1,200 hit points. He is resistant to sleep, or immune to sleep, really, and weak to lightning, which is precisely why I wanted to put Mal in the party. Okay. Apparently, I took a really long time explaining that right here. I don't know why, but... Oh, well. Oh, look at that stupid red tongue of Bloom's. Bloom reminds me of something from a different game. I don't know what exactly, but something. Just the way he moves and how fat he is, it's ridiculous. Okay, so I guess we'll Geno boost to Mario right now. And, yep, got the action command. Sweet. Okay, and I don't think the action command really comes into play here, because, or, well, the attack up doesn't come into play, because I'm using a magic attack, so I don't know what I was thinking, but whatever. And I guess use Shocker. Which I don't think does as much as I would have liked, with it being a weakness and all. I see 111. That's really not good. Oh, I never forget a taste. In fact, I can clone someone after just one slurp. Watch. You all look delicious, but how do you taste? And dude, don't eat Mario. Oh my god. What the hell? Ah, sour. Mario's not sour. That's ridiculous. Mario should be sweet like butterscotch candy. Okay. And there's the Mario clone, yep. He's a lot weaker than the R Mario, thank goodness. Because if he was stronger than Mario, I I really don't know what I would say. Like, ah. Uh. Okay. So I was explaining something here, evidently. And I don't have any recollection of what it was, but I think we're just going to concentrate our attacks on Bloom right now. So that we can get this over with. Unfortunately, though, you have to take a boat... Ah, I spoiled that. You have to take out the clone and Bloom in order to actually win this fight. Okay, so we'll smash his face with a hammer, and then Mario jumps on Mario. That shouldn't be possible, but uh, what are you going to do? It's very paradoxical. Okay. That wall behind Bloom is really weird. Well, I, <laughs> I must be really bored right now to be talking about the wall. Bitter, but not bad. Jeez, all these stupid tastes that are not describing us in the right way. My goodness, I suck at commentary today. I don't know why. Flamestone? Gino doesn't have that. That's bullshit. Okay. Well, apparently harnessing the power of Balloon Slobber allows you to have Flamestone or something. I don't know. Look how stupid Mar the Mario clone's face is when he jumps. Oh my. Uh, so, I guess I can vlog for a little bit here, um, I'm sorry that this episode was delayed for a little bit, oh wait, I know that there's epic music here right playing. Yeah, there's some cool music playing right there when he did the lullaby, as always, of course, but I can't hear it, because if I, w if I were able to hear it, that would cause an echo right now. But yeah, so, sorry for delaying this episode for a few days, um, I had exams to deal with, I only had two exams, like, during my actual exam week. Which means that I am now on break until February 1st, which is really awesome. I just had my last exam today. I did okay in it. It was French reading comprehension. Really not the greatest thing to do in the world, but yeah, what are you gonna do? Okay. Is it just me or does it look like a kindergartner drew all over Balloon's face? Huh. Oh no, not again. I'm starving! Time to go home for dinner. Oh my good. I thought you were home, Balloon. And okay, just die. Whatever. Die instead of going home. Maybe maybe his home is in the afterlife. Who knows? 
All right, and just a few more hits here, and we will be done with the clones. And hoorah! Some experience there. And a special button! Oh my goodness, what's it gonna do? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, hurry up, asshole, press the button. Okay, I was talking. What, what was I talking about? Oh my goodness, there we go, thank you. Okay, <laughs> I feel like I'm kind of retu praying myself or something, even though I'm not talking at all in the original video of this. Oh, hello again. That pipe is a shortcut to my home, Monstro Town. I'll see you there. Oh, hold on a second, guys. Alright, guys, that's gonna be the strangest cut ever, because it was only cut in the commentary and not in the actual mm. video. That would seem really weird to you. Okay, so this is Monstro Town. Some very chilly looking doors there. Actually, they're not really spooky looking or anything. They just kind of look like they're here to hug you. Like, they have scary face things on them, but they, they have, like, outstretched arms, and they're like, come here, I'm gonna hug you. Mm. I'm, I'm hugging myself right now. I must be really lonely. Yeah, I'm so lonely. <laughs> oh, but I have you guys with me. Right, I think I'm about to cut away here in a few seconds or something. God knows why. I was probably going jack off or something. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, I think the cut was right there. There we go. And we're gonna just start exploring Monstro Town. Feel free to rest here. The Three Musty Fears. Oh, I wonder what that is a parody of. Hmm. And turn off the light and... <laughs> face plant onto the bed that's the only way to go to sleep and now suddenly he's just under the covers I don't know how that works but and oh shit nice to meet ya I'm Greeper and oh my god boo I'm the big boo uh, you look kind of like a normal boo to me and I'm dry bones I see we are the three musty fears oh that that that's nice okay he's sleeping well what'd you expect there's a bed here Boy, he sure is. Check those bubbles coming out of his nose. Yeah, no kidding. Does anyone actually sleep like that with a giant bubble coming out of their nose? Maybe you can still hear us while he's asleep. Hey, you want to play a round of Find the Flag? Sure. Sounds like an awesome game. Right, we'll each have a flag somewhere around the world. Yeah, find all three flags and you'll get an awesome prize. Yeah, it's not that great of a prize. We'll go and hide the flags. See you when we get back. Dun dun dun. <laughs> what the hell? They'll be back. Okay, creepy stalker lamp mushroom. Whatever. I'm back. I hit my flag behind a wit wooden flower. Okay, that's not obscure at all. And now dry bones is back. I'm home. My flag's under a green bed. Okay. I'm back. He, he's back. <laughs> Am I going to advance the text there? You'll never guess where my spot is. It's between O and A. That is actually a really obscure hint. But it's not impossible. Our flags are invisible, so search very carefully when you think you've found a spot. Can do, Chief. Don't forget what we told you. Oh my goodness, this episode is going to suck with post-commentary. Well, the original commentary wasn't that great either. I was spouting nonsense, and it was with my crappy microphone too. Yeah, that, that headset I was using in, like, this recording session, it was good for, because it was comfortable. Unlike this one, this one's not as comfortable. But the mic just sucked ass. Okay. This room reminds me of Donkey Kong. And I think we're about to go take on the three musty fears thing. If you can get a move on. My goodness. What am I doing admiring the view? Oh my god. Alright, so the exit is... No, right... Oh my god. Go back, asshole. Go back... No, no, don't take the spring. Oh my god. How stupid am I? I just came from there. That's Balloon Temple. Okay. Yeah, you know where the, you know where the exit is now? Come on. Come on, buddy. Don't go in that third door. Not yet. There's a little bit of a secret, secret surprise behind that door. Oh, okay. It's, it's my presents for you guys for Christmas. I know. I just spoiled it. That's where I put my, or I hid my presents for y'all. I'm sorry. And it's kind of late for Christmas, but whatever. That was a really bad joke. See, I try to force jokes and it just doesn't work. I'll just let it flow. Alright, so going to Rose Town. Rose Town, there you go. No, Rose Town. Not, oh my. Okay, I was looking at like a guide here. How can, oh, there you go. Okay. Wow, I never noticed, but Mario's face on the overworld there, he looks like really pissed off. 
He's like, mwah, mwah, mwah. he's like, mwah, mwah, mwah. what the hell does that even mean? Okay, so behind the wooden flower is where the first musty fear is, but apparently I had some trouble actually getting it. I'm sure I get it eventually, though. Yeah, this is pretty much going to be the rest of the episode, just the musty fears. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Okay. Uh, yeah, so, um, oh, one, one thing I want to talk about really quick is PAX East, Penny Arcade Expo East, I guess. Um, there's a lot of, like, Let's Players and stuff going to that. I know of quite a few of them, like, uh, well, I'm not going to name any names, but just a lot of awesome people. You probably already know yourselves. And I might get a chance to go. I'm not entirely sure yet, but I might. So, if any of you happen to be, happen to be there too, then, eh, well, message me or something. And can We'll figure out. Maybe we can hang out or something. That'd be kind of cool. I don't expect to get, like, recognized or anything. It's like, hey, that's Argon Matrix. Oh my god. No. That's not gonna, I'm not gonna be one of those people who just, I'll just be, like, a stranger to most everyone. Alright, so the second must be fear under a green bed, right there. Perfect. Oh my goodness. What a creeper that Dry Bones is. He's sneaking into my house and hiding his flag under my bed. What a scary dude. I don't know. It seems customary in Mushroom Kingdom to just be able to waltz into random people's houses, though. I mean, hell, Mario does it all the frickin' time, and no one ever thinks differently of it, of him for it. Alright, so here we are on Yoster Isle. And there's Boshi, yeah. Okay, he's still looking as badass as ever. And between the O and the A, on the goal! And that's all three musty fear flags. And apparently I was contemplating going, back, going into the pipe vault there. But then I realized that would be a really stupid idea. So I decided not to. And then we just make our way back to uh, Monster Town, that's where it was. Monster Town's like one of my favorite towns. I don't know why, it's just awesome. Just like the atmosphere of it, it's like like Monstro Town. What do you think of when you hear that name? You think of like monsters and scariness and horrible stuff. But no, look at this. It's so bright and just kind of awesome. It's, I don't know. It's really contradictory to its name, and I like that. That's pretty interesting. All right, so back to sleep. How much can you sleep, Mario? Good job. You found all three flags. Yep. Thanks to my handy dandy guide. Hey, you're not half bad. You did pretty well. We had a great time too. Thanks for playing our game. Thank you for playing my game. Now the grand prize giveaway. Oh my god, is it a black Nintendo Wii? I want one of those. Don't forget what we told you. Oh, they just hugged me. Okay, they hugged me in bed. Apparently that's my grand prize. That's not creepy at all. Getting hugged by undead monsters in while you're sleeping. No, but if you look at Mario's accessory now, it is, oh, it's the foam beep. No, it's the ghost metal. And it raises defense while attacking, and I think I removed that here because it's not as great as the jump shoes, in my opinion. Yeah, jump shoes are like one of the first accessories we got, aren't they? Because yeah, and they're still like the, one of the best ones too. And the ghost metal, I don't think it actually gets equipped to anyone here. And do I realize that I still have Mallow in my party? I should probably take him out of my party, dude. Dude, are you gonna take are you gonna take Mallow to your party? Or are you going to keep playing around with the ghost metal and looking at random bullshit stats? Okay, great item, bad smell. That's what the amulet said. Okay. And, nope, didn't swap mal out. Oh, wait. There I go. I knew I was going to do that, like, right at the end of the recording session here. Okay, yeah, it looks like we're actually about to end here. So, um, I'm really sorry for having to do this post-commentary. I really didn't want to do that. But, you know, it had to be done. And I, this is going to be the only episode with post-commentary, as far as I know, because this is like the tail-end episode of the recording session. So it's really no big deal right now. Alright, looks like we got like a minute or so to go here. Maybe less. And I'm pretty sure I don't do a damn thing except for save. Why did I stretch saving out to a minute? Because I could. And I know you guys love watching me save. Mm-hmm. Okay. So... That should be it. Um, oh, I'm starting my LP of Kirby's Epic Yarn tomorrow. Can't wait for that. Just thought I'd re remind you guys of that. And I guess that's it. So, thank you everyone for watching. And until next time, this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you, and good night.